I'm going to move the arm around over here more to the center of the boot, so I'm not going to run into any of the walls. I'm going to move my arm support over here. I'm kind of finding a comfortable place right in here where I can do a vertical up, FCAW or GMAW. And in the past, on the FCAW, I've put it a little lower so I can look over. But for GMAW, it's a little better where you can watch a little more of the back of the edge of the pool. Right here, I can either weave or I can run stringers. I can squat down a little. I can squat down a little bit. But I can see the start here if I need to, and I can just easily roll up as I'm moving up the plate. From the side here, I can see enough of the well pull from the side as I start that I can move my head over right here as I move into the groove on on a plate test. I'm going to kind of demonstrate this. I'm going to put the hood down walk up. You're more apt to run your torch into your hood on a wire feed process than you will with your stick or your kick. One of the common mistakes I see a lot of people make is they'll get a little too close up here and when they do go up, they bump into their hood right, at this, right in the first third of the plate. So always make a dry run, even with your hood down. If you don't have an auto dark, it's a little more difficult. And if you find you have to get a lot closer to the well to see it, Perhaps we should uh, look into getting a magnifier lens to put in there so you don't have to get your head quite as close to the weld pool. It's always a good idea to keep your head out of the smoke, too.